Here's a quick news break from Edge of the Web Radio. Hey, from Marketing Die, there's a report uh, that we wanted to go over. Teen Phenomenon TikTok taps four agencies to hone U.S. strategy. So check this. Uh, TikTok has partnered with four Nash North American agencies as it looks to sharpen a marketing strategy in the U.S. Ad Age reported TikTok's aim beyond increasing brand awareness in a valuable market <clears throat> is to stand out less a, as an alternative to the likes of Snapchat and in, Instagram, as, and is more of like a platform like YouTube, uh, told the sources over at AdAge. So the social video app owned by the private Chinese startup ByteDance uh, will work with IPG's initiative, RPA, and Montreal-based independence firm Sid Lee, and a small California agency called Channel. Sid Lee has spearheaded the TikTok social media duties since March, and the company has confirmed all this to ad age. So if you don't know who TikTok is, uh, TikTok has actually uh, quietly risen to become the app of choice for U.S. teens, right? So it's no surprise that the company is looking to hone a marketing strategy uh, in the in the region to better capitalize on the clout that they have. So, uh, uh, Tim, what's your experience with TikTok? Have you looked at it from afar or have you, have you tried to dive in there? I haven't tried to dive in. It, it feels a lot kind of like Instagram crossed with Vine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, have you played with it yourself? No, we haven't. Uh, tried to stay away from it as, as as much as possible. No, you're absolutely right. And it's almost like the resurrect resurrection of Vine. Uh, what's the? Uh, we're still at a six or seven second type of rollout for these videos, right? Uh, it's 15, 15 seconds or sixty seconds, I think. Uh, okay, got it, got it. Yeah. But it does still loop, and uh, and you still follow people and heart stuff, kind of like you would do on mm -hmm. on Instagram. So it's kind of like taking the stuff that works on Instagram and the stuff that worked on Vine and kind of like merging them together, mm -hmm. which I find is fascinating because, you know, Vine died years ago. And this is something like there still is a market for that. And Absolutely. I would have kept Vine. I really liked it. I felt like the 6.2 seconds were a little bit short for Vine. But I mean, I, I'm, I don't do a deep dive into this stuff. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of our content, or especially more of this week's featured guest, including a full-length interview, head on over to YouTube and search for Edge of the Web. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to see digital marketing news as it happens.